to treat Alzheimer's disease, we have to treat the causes. And still we don't know exactly what causes the disease. You get three chances to pull in these words. At the Center for Cognitive Health, Dr. Michael Mega puts his patients through memory tests that look something like a game of concentration. Close to five million people have Alzheimer's disease in the United States right now, and that's expected to go up to seven million by 2030. For the last 25 years, there's been a push to try and figure out how to slow the disease progression or, you know, hopefully stop it. Come on down here, Laura. That starts with diagnosing the disease as early as possible. PET-CT has revolutionized the ability for us to peer into the living brain. For a PET-CT, Dr. Mega's patients go to CDI. The scans of your brain appear to light up, helping radiologists identify patterns. And these different patterns can be indicative of certain diseases, such as Alzheimer's, or Alzheimer's with Lewy body, or seizures. PET-CT can also be used to track patients in clinical trials. A baseline scan and follow-up scans will show if a medication is making a difference. Hold your hands up like this. nice. But in treating the disease, Dr. Mega says early diagnosis is key. The most beneficial effect of making an early diagnosis was to help people understand what they're going through, help families cope with the disease. In the early stages of the disease, you know, you can still interact with your family members and go on trips and have a vacation, you know, do your bucket list while you still have your wherewithal to enjoy those events. It's just a little bit of memory problem early on. While there's no cure for Alzheimer's yet, Dr. Mega is hopeful it's coming. Letter. And in the meantime, he's helping provide his patients with answers. Once you know what the enemy is, then you can marshal all the resources to fight the process.